Hello, CoinOps fans. This is Pixel Freak from the CoinOps Project Discord server doing a quick video. Some folks were wondering how to use an Xbox controller on Pi Legends 4. I'm going to use version 2 because that's what's out. Version 3 is coming very soon, but uh, there was no Bluetooth connectivity. People were wondering how to get their Bluetooth uh, Xbox compatible controller. I'm going to do this. I found a quick way to do it. It worked. I'm going to show you real quick in a video. Uh, have your version two. I have a fresh build. I just let it expand. Um, I'm going to remote in, show you how to do that. I am using, for your reference, it has to be Bluetooth enabled. So uh, I'm using an Xbox One Series S. Uh, the reason I say you have to have Bluetooth enabled because that's different than using the wireless dongle. Um, if you have any questions about that remember that in the help channel in the pinned messages i made a primer on november 10th 2020 uh, that goes through in detail how to identify which ones work ignore the stuff about the dongles we are not working with the dongle we are trying to get a white that's the one that i'm using a white xbox one series s controller it also indicates that this uh, driver will work for anything bluetooth enabled that is a microsoft xbox one controller if you have questions go ahead and look at that pin so as well in the legends for pi 4 legends channel on the discord server there is also a, a pin that i put in there and how to get into your pi all right so go to that we're going to pull up uh actually i'm going to show you where i got this information this is a github program i'm sorry a primer this is xpad neo this is the driver we're going to install all right I've already taken the important parts and set that over there. So let's pull up. First off, you have to say, well, I've got a network cable. It's wired connection on my local area network. Wi-Fi is not enabled on these Pi, uh, on this Pi build. So therefore you have to have a wired connection to get into your Pi. If so, ping coin ops. If I can type correctly. <laughs> RK, that is the name of the device. Look at that. Oh no, it came up in IPv6. That means nothing to me. So, ping four coin ops. Hi, arcade. I want to use that. My 250. 192, 168, 1250. Now that I have that information, I would use a program, a terminal program like Putty, uh, which is the most common. It's very easy to use. I've got one going here, so I'm going to get it to restart the session. Look at that. Boom. If you go into Putty, you tell it, I want 192.168.1.250, which is the return from pinging it. That's how you identify it on your network. Port 22, and you are connecting via SSH. Everybody knows that. It is username pi, password arcade. Boom. We're in. Okay. Also, for those of you, if you want to use like FileZilla or something to be able to change files and upload them, once you connect, um, you can also use SFTP, uh, which is also port 22, use something like a uh, FileZilla, etc. So you can overwrite files if you're going to be adding or modifying it. But, you know, you're kind of on your own at that point. So first one, we're going to get the headers updated. That is this line. In a terminal, you don't paste with a control V, you right click, look at that, boom, it's going to. And again, this is a fresh build of V2, all right? So I have had it expand. I haven't even played a single game on it yet. I wanted to use a clean image to show you how to get this done. It will take a couple of minutes because it has to download the files. We're gonna do this one at a time. So once you do the apt get install, you're getting the headers updated. It just said to do that as a prerequisite to tell you the truth. I'm not 100% sure why. Maybe Andy Byrne could help me with that. But I'm copying the next command, which is going to pull the XPad Neo uh, files. So once this finishes, okay, again, don't paste with Control V, right click, boom, there it is. It's cloning in, it's pulling from the internet, if you will, uh, the uh, important bits that you're gonna need. Now I'm gonna CD xpad neo all right and then i'm going to sudo which is elevated privilege to be able to ex uh, uh in, to use to execute all right gonna run the install here we go it's gonna take a minute once this software is installed then we're going to be able to go into uh we got to connect it because there is no desktop there is no visual graphical user interface on these builds we're going to have to do it all by command line we're going to go we're going to run Bluetooth control. Look at that. Agent registered controller parable. All right. I need to turn the scan on right now. My Bluetooth uh, controller, my Xbox, 
Jeez, Xbox One Series S controller is off. I'm going to turn it on. It's scanning right now. It being the Pi. The Pi is scanning. It's these other devices in my home. Uh, it is picking those up. I know that none of those are the uh, controller yet because I've just turned it on. Now I need to hold on the connect button where you're going to get the faster flashing. Let's look for a change. All right. It should detect my Xbox One controller, which I've just set into pair mode. There it is. And watch how I know. I know it's the one B17, but look at that. The MAC address there, Xbox wireless controller. It picked it up. So I'm going to do myself a favor. I'm going to copy these octets because I don't want to keep typing that. Okay. I am going to control C that so that I can now use it. But again, you can't control V to paste it. You got to right click. So put the connect button on the upper side of the gamepad. I did wait for the gamepad to show up. Bluetooth scan off. You want to turn the scan off because we have our information. Let's shut off. Uh, it being in all of that information, uh, pulling that information. So now I need to pair it. Pair, and this is why it's important. Put a space, right mouse button. Attempting to pair. Right now my Bluetooth uh, controller is still flashing fast, flashing, fa flashing fast. Okay. Pairing successful. Waiting for it. We are now going to trust space we want it to reconnect next time I fire this up trust succeeded now I'm going to connect attempting to connect there we go I now see that the light on my Xbox controller has gone solid okay there we go it is done absolutely so let me show you as a result Hopefully, this will give me just a second. I'm going to see if I can actually show you. Uh, there we go. Now you should be able to see in here. Let's go to my capture device. All right. So I want to make sure that you get to see how I make these stupid little videos using this. Let's get that. There we go. Let's transition over there. Hopefully, you're now seeing what my Pi is doing. I am using the recently connected Xbox Series S controller. That, that is the D-pad. This is the uh, left analog, okay? Left bumper, look at that, letter by letter. Right bumper, letter by letter. A, B, X, and Y are all hooked up. I'm gonna switch genres by hitting back. Look at that, flipping through. I can toggle favorites by pressing start on and off. It is completely working. And that's how you get it connected. All right. Hopefully that's helpful. Go ahead and join the Discord if you have any questions. Thanks for bearing through this. Um, many more instructional videos to come. Uh, and version 3 should be out soon, which should fix the uh, 3.5 millimeter audio out. I don't know if Bluetooth is going to be integrated. It's a lot to keep the controllers going. But if you have an Xbox uh, compatible uh, Bluetooth enabled controller that should get you going. All right. See you on the discord.